All right, here we are today, uh, April 10th, it's Wednesday. And um, we are videotaping this house, let's see. They finished the new sidewalk, the concrete patio front, the steps, we've got the back pad ready for the shed. Now let's go inside and check it out. Our homeowners have been very patient and they're waiting to move in and we're moving right along. Now this looks like a disaster, doesn't it? So the story with these houses, when they're two units, used to call double wide back in the day, they're now called um, multi-unit homes. And the story with this is there's a little bit more work to be done. See that beautiful laminate floor? It's got like a real beautiful beach look and it's a great light colored to coordinate with the backsplash, which is the New York subway tile and the beautiful um, gray cabinetry, which also looks like it's a brown tone too. You could make it go either way depending on what you decorate with. So that laminate flooring goes all the way across here and there's the rest of the flooring and um, the guys went out to lunch, they'll be back and they'll be putting all this together. So honestly, it looks like a disaster. Here's the Anderson storm doors. Still have to put the paddle fans up. And um, we have a 38 point checklist of items that we need to accomplish before we hand over the keys to the new house. So um, this is what we call the marriage wall. So the two pieces of the houses were put together last week with our dear Mennonite friends from Pennsylvania. And um, this kitchen's really, really spectacular. This has become quite a hit to have this little corner uh, lit up area for doing dishes. And you've got this, uh, this is the four Whirlpool package appliances. The microwave, the cooktop stove, the dishwasher, and the side-by-side -side refrigerator. And this, uh, once you get the flooring in, uh, we've had people have an enormous dining room set brought in here and it just spans the whole area, which is pretty interesting. It gives you a lot of versatility with this open floor plan. And of course, you can make your living room traditional if you like. So um, back here we have a wonderful uh, mud room, a laundry room, utility room. You've got tons of pantry, lots of space to store anything you need. And then above you've got shelving, plenty of room for your uh, full-size washer and dryer. And there's the back steps. Well, you know what, since we're here, let's go back there and find out. You've got your steps here, and you've got this great concrete pad for your um, cookout, your tables, your recliner. And um, wow, this is so sunny back here. You'll be sun tanning back here. So let's go back in and uh, see the rest of the house. And this is the hallway. And over here you have the hall uh, bathroom and here it's a bathtub and you've got the transom window. The master bath is a shower stall. And um, you've got your commode, great sink area, framed mirror, uh, cosmetic box. We still have to put the light fixtures up. And across the hall you have the master bedroom and this is the drywall we'll be using for the marriage wall. So it's on the floor where it's safe and it won't crack. That's your closet. Really sunny uh, bedroom here. This house is very cheery. So here you've got the master uh, bath and this one is a shower stall. Typically we do one, if we have two bathrooms, we do one of each so that you can pick and choose. Some people like that bathtub. Uh, most of our seniors like this step-in shower stall and the two seats makes it really remarkable to be able to um, have that ability, right? So there we are. And this is the bathroom. I love that look above the uh, bathroom where it's like a little overhang. And um, yes, that was me falling backwards. And it's got a little overhang. And then once the lights are on, which where you don't have the electric yet on, the LED lights will um, beam down. And that's really 
really pretty. And then you've got your little knickknacks all uh, corner to be able to put whatever you need. So this bathroom's huge. I'm really impressed. And this bedroom too is very, very functional. And then again, here's a peek at the closet. And again, you're, once you move in, you can make it any way you want. Uh, you can redesign the closet. Here's your um, hot air furnace. And again, your central air conditioning works through that. And this is uh, your second bedroom. So your closet there, bypass doors. That's a um, premium upgrade. And the two panel doors, that's really elegant. I like that little curve at the top. So um, this house, unfortunately, for those who are interested, has already sold. But if you're interested in moving into our communities, any one of our three communities, um, our website is dolanhomes.com. And this house is located at K3 in Carteret Mobile Park. And the website is my home in Carteret. And um, we have another community in Edison and another community in Harbor Crossings in Egg Harbor Township near Atlantic City. So email us, that's how we start the process, info at dolanhomes.com. And from there you'll receive our informational email. And then after that, you'll receive the pre-qualifying questions if you're interested in uh, pursuing it. And then um, the resident application and the lease are always included in uh, every email that we send, the informational email. And then after that, you can make an appointment to tour any house that we already have. Uh, I've had a very peculiar thing happening lately. Um, people are getting qualified before the houses are built and then they're the first ones we turn to. We've never had that happen before. Uh, in the past, we built a house, then got the certificate of um, occupancy and then put the for sale sign out. But with YouTube, we're going a little faster and people are getting qualified before the houses are actually uh, finished. So as you can see, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm letting people know and then they want to jump in and get a part, get to be a part of this uh, because we definitely realize that we're more affordable than most places nearby. So that's enough chit chat, don't you think, for the day? Uh, so once again, email us and then we start our intake process. Thanks a million for watching and liking, subscribing, sharing. We really appreciate it. And um, have a wonderful day. Bye.